Now to the other major story today, the premier ending speculation about his political future. John Horgan will be stepping down as leader of the NDP later this year. Horgan says he is cancer free, but his health issues have taken a toll on his energy. Our legislative bureau chief Binder Sajjan joins us live from Victoria and Binder in his own words, John Horgan says it's time for someone else. Yeah, Nafisa, and we heard over and over again from John Horgan today that he believes that should be someone of a different generation, someone with new ideas to lead the party into the future as John Horgan prepares to say goodbye to politics. John Horgan delivering the news many suspected. He won't run again, and later this year, he'll no longer be Premier. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity, British Columbia. It has truly been uh, the thrill of my life. I've done my best to not let you down. Horgan's announcement comes after beating cancer for a second time. Although cancer-free, the fight's taken a toll. The uh, treatment was rigorous. And I was in my enthusiasm to get back to work. Uh, I've, I've confessed this in other interviews. I probably got back a bit earlier than I should have. The 62-year-old says the decision was tough. He came to it with his wife, Ellie, while walking on a Vancouver Island beach. And watching the otters uh, playing uh, just offshore uh, by the hour uh, reminded me that that uh, doing a little bit more plan, a little bit less work is probably not a bad idea. He'll stay in the job until a new leader is chosen this fall, adding it's too soon to speak about high or low points. I'm of the view that I'm still working. Uh, it's not time to reflect or vic victory lap or lament. I can't tell you now that I'm retired and I'm out walking the neighborhood, the number of people who stop me and want to know how John is doing. Former NDP leader Carol James is Horgan's closest advisor and believes his ability to relate to people is partially what gave the NDP a majority mandate. I said how proud I was of him and how proud I was to be able to serve in his government and to be able to call him a friend. Horgan is widely considered the party's biggest asset. A new leader will need name recognition and the kind of charisma Horgan is known for. Being with him at events and I would always have someone come up to me and say it's okay you can tell the premier it's time to go home. Uh, it's getting to be 10 o'clock. Well John wanted to stay. Within all of our political institutions, uh, we need to make space for the next generation to bring forward their ideas and their energy to take on the tasks. Horgan says he'll stay on as an MLA until the next election and after that looks forward to stepping away from the limelight, happy to just be John again. And the reaction is pouring in from across the political spectrum. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau thanking John Horgan for his service and commending him for work he's done on climate action and affordable child care. And opposition leader Kevin Falcon also sending his well wishes, ending his tweets with the phrase, live long and prosper. Of course, that's a nod to Horgan, who is a well-known Trekkie. So, Bender, a leadership race on the horizon. What do we know about that so far? Well, party brass are working on a plan. Horgan thinks that that could happen sometime this fall. And perhaps by the time that politicians are scheduled to return here to Victoria in October, the NDP may have a new leader. Nafisa? All right, our Legislative Bureau Chief Binder Sajjan live in Victoria tonight. Thank you.